is turning to Jesus Christ and trusting Him as Lord over all areas of life, He is not powerless to save. He is not powerless to transform this culture. Yet, we act as if there's nothing we can do except file into a building on Sunday morning that we are powerless to establish justice and righteousness, the foundations of God's throne, that the Spirit of God who created matter, energy, space, and time and raised Jesus Christ from the dead is not powerful enough to end the practice of child sacrifice in the land of the not free and the home of the slaves. In Texas alone, there are over 30,000 churches 60 to 70,000 so-called pastors, and I use that word pastors lightly or should have quotes around it, because at the same rate, 60,000 babies are slaughtered on the altar of Baal to the Moloch state every single year in the state of Texas while we file into our buildings, into our edifices, get our churchian game on, sit our butts in the seats and pass the plate, lift our hands to the sky while God looks down and sees them dripping with blood because not to speak is to speak, not to act is to act. We have allowed this culture to go the way of Moloch. We have allowed this culture in the state of Texas to just go the way of the enemy while we have walled ourselves in in our 501c3 complexes in our tax-exempt little para-kingdom churchy and ministry places where we go to soothe our souls, where we go to act as if this is what Christianity looks like, this is what, Chris, this is what Western civilization was founded on, a big building, a nice talk, a light show on the stage, a rock band playing music, while all the while the Lordship of Christ is denied by our actions. Jesus Christ did not come to give you fire insurance. Jesus Christ came as Lord and Savior, but if He is not your Lord, then how is He your Savior? If you don't act like Christ is in control of all areas of life, how do you really think that you belong to Him?